Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. It is Team Rai Rai. And how is everyone doing on this Sunday's edition? I am doing very well. Wrestling fanatics, don't forget tonight it is Fastlane's the last stop before WrestleMania. Let me know if you were able to get tickets for Mania or are you just going to wait until next year in Dallas, Texas. I'm just curious if you guys or gals are serious to get tickets. Maybe you did already. Already then. No, I'm not going this year. Okay, now if you really serious to be part of the Rabbi Show, it's exclusive on Facebook like page. Just hit the like button and all the information will be down below. Double click it and DM me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and even Instagram. I know Instagram is only you gotta request the DMs. That sucks, but whatever. Um so or leave a comment for with any of my videos. Okay, even on um Instagram I post stuff randomly. So leave a comment if you really seriously. If not, then don't worry about it. Okay. Now I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. And now if you like to back relax. Put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink, nothing like that. Maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the article will be down below or the link will be down below. Let's roll this. Okay, Charlie. You guys know her from WWE. She worked backstage and she, did, she does a lot of other stuff. I guess she had an incident recently and she was late. Of doing like okay, interviewing for Seamus and Randy Orton. Seamus and Randy Orton did not like that, so they told whoever is in charge of backstage. So she has been off TV since then. So they have a replacement already, and you will never see her again on WWE television because her contract will run out. So she's not gonna return anytime soon. That sucks. So, is this a big loss for her? Probably not. Because she's doing ESPN. She might do ESPN full time. Or she might do like she did with Dewey. Dewey? I mean, I'm sorry. That was a total mistake. Like she did with Dewey. If she worked for ESPN, then AEW. Maybe she might do both. Or maybe she would just concentrate with ESPN. What's your thoughts? What do you think would be a perfect home for her? I guess it all depends who would offer her the better money and the better scheduling. So that's why W is pissed at her because she was late. You know? McMahon does not allow tardiness on at work. I don't think anyone is allowed to be tardious tardy at work or being late, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think she needs to work for Dewey. She has other things. She has, I think she has two flipping jobs. Doesn't Dewey pay her enough money? Probably not. So she worked for ESPN for like for certain days, and then eventually, you get she can work more days and more days and more days, and you know what's gonna happen? She's gonna be there for all time, and I guaranteed the money's better than the Dewey. Give her. I could be totally wrong on this situation. Okay, now I'm just gonna read this a little bit. It says right here, Charlie Russo will be departing from WWE once her contract expires. And same thing. There are no words on when this deal expires. She won't be appearing on program going forward. That sucks. Okay, she gained heat backstage. After considering being late to an interview mention for Raw, and you guys screwed it. So, you know, it sucks. You need to be on time with any job, okay? I don't know if they paid her a lot of money or not. I'm assuming that ESPN pay her more money. Is this going to be a huge loss once she leaves WWE? I don't think so. But W fans are gonna miss her. You know, she's very beautiful. Of course I'm still gonna follow her on Instagram. 
what's next for her? Do you think she's gonna be um her next future job will be fully with ESPN or ESPN yeah sorry ESPN part time and then full time with AEW. We'll see. You know? I'm surprised she wants to do two jobs, but she's a very busy woman and you know, she makes a lot of money and she loves traveling. So she's a rich person, I'm assuming, or saves her money wisely. She lives in New York. And, you know, New York is very expensive. I would never want to live there because it's expensive. Living there, visiting there, it's okay. Visit, living there, no. Crime, there's crime everywhere. So, yeah, be careful where you live. Okay, everyone, sorry about this. Not great video I'm trying. Don't forget, tomorrow will be my Fast Lanes review. It might be good. It may not be good. Check it out. Stay positive. And don't give people a hard time on the internet. Peace out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tonight. My bad.